Section 3.5, parallel and perpendicular lines. Two non-vertical lines with the slopes m1 and m2 are parallel if and only if m1 equals m2. Or we say that two lines are parallel if both slopes are the same. So put a note here, same slope. For the perpendicular lines, if M1 and M2 represent the slopes of two perpendicular lines, neither of which is, non, is vertical, so that means we look for two non-vertical lines, then M1 equals negative 1 over M2, or we say that one slope is negative reciprocal of the other, or the product of two slopes equals negative 1. Let's look at the example. Example one, uh, the following lines parallel, perpendicular, or neither. In part A, the first line is given as phi minus the quantity 4y plus 3x equals 5 times the quantity x minus y. The second line is y plus 4 equals 3 plus 8x. As we recall, the equation of the line in the form of y equals mx plus b or the slope in the set form we can use m to represent the value of the slope. That means for these problems, we're going to rearrange the expression of the line to be in a form of the slope intercept form to determine the m or the slope of each line. So the first one, we're going to expand them and rearrange the term and then solve for y. We get 5 minus 4y minus 3x equals 5x minus 5y. And next we're gonna collect the terms of the y to the left hand side. So plus 5y both sides. Then we get 5 plus y minus 3x equals 5x. And after that we subtract 5 and then add 3x both sides. So plus 3x minus 5 here. That will give us y equals 8x minus 5 as the equation of the line for the first one. And then the next one, oh, by the way, this will give you the slope of the first line. Let's call m1 equals 8. And then for the second line, we just solve for y by subtracting for both sides. to get y equals 8x minus 1 in the slope intercept form. And then we can see that m2 equals 8. It happens to be the same value. So we say that m1 equals m2. That tells us the slope are parallel. I mean, the lines are parallel. So we can Plot a quick graph here, negative five as the intercept and the slope eight. Slope means rise over run. So go up eight points, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then go over one. So you can sketch the line here and then use another color for another line. So this is the line one, which is y equals 8x minus 5. And the other one is the line y equals 8x minus 1. 1, 2, 3. So one is very close to each other. So we can see these two lines parallel. That is zero, negative one, and the y intercept of the other is zero, negative five. <coughs> and the second one, the first line is given as y plus seven x divided by three equals x plus three. The second line is eight x minus four y equals nine x plus 10. Do the same way by rewriting in the slope intercept form. So the first one we multiply all by three to get y plus 7x equals 
three times x plus three and expand the right hand side expression to be three x plus nine. And next, we're gonna subtract both sides by seven x to leave the y terms alone. We get y equals negative four x plus nine as the slope intercept form of the first line. So we name um, m1 or the slope one as negative four. For the second line, we solve for y by subtracting eight x both sides of the equation to get negative four y equals one x plus 10 and then divide all by negative four to get y equals negative one over four as a coefficient of the x and then subtract it by 10 over four, which is 2.5 in the negative side. With this form, we can see that m2 or the slope of the second line is negative one over four. Let's analyze it. M1 not equal to M2, therefore not parallel. Uh, the product to be negative one, so let's try it. M1 times M2, which is negative four times negative one over four turns out to be one, not negative one, therefore it's not perpendicular. So we can say that these two lines are neither parallel or perpendicular. Let's do the quick sketch. The first one, the intercept zero nine, the slope negative four, which is right over one. So go down four, go over one. One, two, three, four, go one. One, two, three, four, over one. So this is a y, y equals negative four x plus nine. And the other one is the uh, y intercept is negative 2.5. And then the slope is negative one over four. So go down one, go over to the right four. Down one, go over four, one, two, three, four. Down one over four. This is a y y equals negative one over four x minus 2.5. And you see that they are neither parallel or perpendicular. 